Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kamkhalo Mutusi and if you are new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and join this family of opportunities. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really do appreciate it. Today we'll be talking about things to look out for when you are looking for student accommodation or university accommodation. The first thing you'd want to look at is the location of the residence that you want to stay at. So make sure that you you choose a residence that is closer to campus, a residence that is closer to shopping centers or a mall. It makes things so much easier for you. Let's say, for example, you're attending classes, you're writing tests, your traveling time will be very short and you won't have to be stuck in traffic. For example, I had a friend who stayed outside of campus. So we, both of us would attend the tutorials in the morning and then take a break to her place and then come back later on to attend classes at around 2 p.m. So it is so convenient to stay closer to campus. Even if you are late, you know that the likelihood of you getting late at the lectures is like five minutes, 10 minutes, unlike if you were stuck in traffic. The second thing you would want to consider is to look at is it a shared room or is it a single room? So you know yourself, maybe you are someone who just enjoys your own space, so go for a single room. I know that if you are funded by a bursary, usually they have a limit to say, okay, for our students, we only are willing to pay 3.5, for example, for uh, accommodation. So if maybe it happens that a single room is like 3.7, just make sure that you negotiate with the, with the residence managers at the admin's office and ask to top up on top of that. They do allow it. You can top up yourself with cash just so you can get that single room. So ask around, ask for information. If it is no option at all, you will need to change and look somewhere else. The third thing that you would want to consider is um, the facilities and also the culture at that residence. Uh, look out for, is it a fully finished uh, residence or you need to bring certain things um, also look at do they have the facilities that really support your educational needs um, facilities can include uh, free wi-fi computer labs parking if you have a car the gym uh, entertainment area and many others so just make sure that you are aware of the facilities that are there and it, do they really meet your needs? The other thing that I would advise you to do is go on to their social media or on their website and look out for reviews because there's no better way to know about a place than to actually learn from other people's experiences. So you'll go for the reviews and check if people are complaining about certain things. Um, is it really the perfect place that it shows on pictures or there are things that you personally wouldn't tolerate. So look out for that. Number four, look out for safety and security. So you want to make sure that you go to a residence where you are comfortable and you know that, you know, there are security guards, there is a CCTV, um, 24 seven and also an intercom for in case of emergencies. Um, there is also a tendency of, you know, stealing within the rest. So you know that, you know, if you miss something, you can just go to the security desk and ask them to reverse and also just to trace where you could have lost your thing. So make sure that you check with the security. Um, it's a big thing nowadays. Make sure. And then lastly, look out for affordability. Like I said, um, if you are funded, there is high chances that you are going to be restricted when it comes to uh, the room that you can go for. But should it be the case, you know that you can always go and negotiate to top up. Ask your parents, can you guys afford to give me an extra 200 rand so that I can, you know, stay in a single room rather than uh, sharing with someone else if you are that person who can't really share. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of this video. And before I leave, I just want to let you know that be aware of certain things please do read about what the residence has to offer sometimes you'll think that you are only paying for rent 
again, do you have to pay for also water? You have to pay for Wi-Fi. You have to pay for your own electricity. So make sure you read from their brochures and also ask questions. If you are someone who's going to go and hunt physically, uh, ask questions there. They will be available. If you're someone that will be hunting for a residence while sitting at home, make a call and ask them, is this free? Uh, do I have to pay to do my laundry? Do I have to pay to have Wi-Fi? Do I have to pay for parking? You know, those are the relevant um, questions that you must ask because I can imagine as a student, you only, for me, I feel like the only thing you should be stressing about, the only expense you should, you should be stressing about is food. Anything else should be free. So you don't want to be surprised when you get there and you have to pay for other things that where you are not aware of so just make calls ask questions and yeah and happy stay mm -hmm.